Good morning. Coming on to talk a moment about this idea, which gets talked about a lot. But I wanted to talk about attitude. And in case you didn't know the story of one of the authors, one of the teachers that I just posted a quote from, Viktor Frankl, who I learned about Viktor Frankl when I was in graduate school for psychology because he was a psychiatrist who developed a system of psychology, uh, an understanding of human development, and even extended into a form of therapy. But he developed this while being in a concentration camp back in Nazi Germany. So he was a prisoner in the concentration camp, also being a psychiatrist at the time, looking at his own experience within that harsh experience and seeing the suffering of his fellow humans, his family members, himself, all the terrible levels of that experience, right? Which is one of the more horrible experiences we've heard about and witnessed as humans on the planet, right? So Viktor Frankl, while he was there in concentration camp, decided to make use of that time with his craft, with his understanding, with his insights, with his presence, with his experience, and do a lot of writing and thinking, and wound up putting together a book called Man's Search for Meaning. And in that book, that's where these quotes come from about attitude. And to me, that's just very powerful to hear about attitude from someone who was going through something like that, right? And that he realized that within that situation, that's where he came up with some of these quotes that how our attitude is our greatest freedom, our greatest power, that we always have that power to choose our attitude within whatever experience we're in. And of course, especially within a terrible experience, like being in a concentration camp, right? And so, just a little hats off to Viktor Frankl for being so brave and resilient, being there in that concentration camp, using that as a time to think about these things, to write about these things, to put together this book, Man's Search for Meaning, and to help us get this understanding of how our attitude is our greatest freedom, our greatest power, that we always have the freedom and the power to cultivate, right, to choose. And it really helps me realize that what I'm talking about, what I'm thinking about, what I'm going for <laughs> with a lot of what I'm talking to you about here, a lot of what I'm doing with myself and people I get to work with, things I'm writing about, all these videos, is this very thing. That tuning ourselves is so powerful, so helpful, so worth it. And really, yeah, at the base of it, we're talking about our attitude. And it is about choosing our attitude within the circumstances of our life, right? And yet also, we can develop a rhythm to it, right? A focus, be intentional, and do things like have a morning routine, for instance, to help us choose and cultivate our attitude for the day, right? And then having ways that we can keep checking ourselves throughout the day and keep resetting that attitude in a way that we choose, right? That works for us in our lives and helps us also appreciate those around us be that better version of ourselves, right? So that attitude, our greatest power, and if we're sick of hearing it, if it seems like even a privileged thing to say, and it is, for sure, and I've always, I've been very privileged in my life, but even someone like Viktor Frankl in the midst of the concentration camp came up with this realization and these powerful quotes about attitude. So I hope that's helpful to you today along your journey and I hope you can build in more of what helps you develop and strengthen an attitude that works for you, helps you enjoy your life more, helps you stabilize your mental health more, right? And helps you show up and experience life more like you might love. So sending you lots of love and 
Yeah, let me know what you think about this thing called attitude. All right, see you soon, guys. Namaste.